after creating more than 25 macros for AutoCAD, here is the top three based on how much time they saved and with easy creation by simply copying and pasting. Instructions on where to copy the macros from by the end of this video. And before I forget, happy Father's Day to you and to all of the fathers from my lazy community. You want to change AutoCAD textile in your entire drawing with one click? Keep watching. Hi, welcome to a new video on AutoCAD macros for automatic drawings. Auto Textile Change Command Why do you need it? A textile is a named collection of text settings that controls the appearance of text such as font, justification, and more. But if you're watching this video, you probably already know this. But what you don't know is what I'll share with you next. You can automate AutoCAD to avoid creating textiles and change font of all text automatically, like this. Let's create your custom AutoCAD command. To start, type CUI and press Enter. This will bring up AutoCAD Customized User Interface. To create a new command in AutoCAD, duplicate any existing command, rename it and change its macro. Let's quickly explain this AutoCAD macro. First, You'll use CC to cancel any AutoCAD running commands. Second, you'll start OpsProp command. You'll type in all to select all objects in your drawing, including textiles. Now, enter property to change. Type in letter T for textile. Finally, go ahead and enter textile name you want your entire drawing to be changed. Now, to use your new change textile command and have it always available, add it to your AutoCAD quick access panel. If you prefer to have it in your AutoCAD ribbon or tool palette, there will be a link down on video description. Time to test your new automatic textile change command. What happens next is that if you're serious about saving time in AutoCAD, don't forget to grab your 5 automatic commands while they are still available. You grab them at the link below this video. Hey, are you tired of playing with individual layers to de-emphasize less important parts of your drawing? If yes, then stay tuned because this video is for you. As today, the options we have to de-emphasize portions of our drawings are 1. Changing each individual layer transparency so they print lighter. Or option 2. Have a CTV file or plot style with the correct color settings that will print lighter or darker depending on the color that your layer have. But today we have a third option which is the option that I'm gonna give it to you right now. It is the custom transparency command, which the cool thing is, it can be applied globally as you are seeing it. 
In this example, we separated the existing conditions from the proposed floor plan, so the new floor plan stands out. How cool is that? Now, if you're not seeing your transparency on your model space, it's because you have your transparency display settings off. So, simply type transparency display. Zero will turn that off and one will turn it on. The nice things are, this command will work with literally anything. As you might see here, we're using even an OLE image. And for those advanced AutoCAD users, you know that this is impossible in AutoCAD. We don't have that much flexibility with OLE images. But hey, this custom command works. How cool is that? To create our AutoCAD custom command, let's type CUI and enter. This will bring us to the customizable user interface of AutoCAD. Here we can duplicate any of the existing commands, rename it and change its macro. Alternatively, we can hit the start icon to create a new command and again rename it and change its macro. So let's create our custom command. A quick explanation of this macro would be CC to get out of any active command, then we'll use the command layer. We'll use M to make a new layer and the name of my layer would be lighter but you can pick your own names. Then we'll use TR to set the transparency. In this case, I'll pick 50 but again, you can pick your own numbers. Then we'll use the command rectangle. Our final command would be wipeout. We'll set P for polyline L for last and Y for yes. That would be all the code for this macro. Now, to use our custom command and have it always available, we can either add it to our AutoCAD ribbon to our AutoCAD Quick Access Panel or to our AutoCAD Tool Palette. So let's add our new command. Let's test our AutoCAD Transparency command. One click, two clicks, and done. Awesome. Now let's preview. How cool is that? A portion of my drawing, it's lighter automatically. AutoCAD user, do you want to learn the fastest way for architects to draw walls in AutoCAD and create plans in 15 minutes? This and my speed up drafting techniques coming up. Hi, I'm the Lazy Architecto. I'm so excited today because I created a super AutoCAD tool that is gonna save you so much time, 
So if you are new to this channel and you want to save time in AutoCAD every Tuesday, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's go ahead and get started. Your smart wall will be ready in three simple steps. Step 1. To start, type CUI and press enter. Then click the start icon to create a new command. Name your new command and then on the macro section type in the following code. Remember that this code and any other macro code will be posted in one of my social media platforms so you can easily copy and paste. So let's briefly explain this AutoCAD macro. First, you'll use CC to cancel any running command. Second, you'll use the command line version of layer command. X wall would be the name of your layer, but feel free to change this layer name. Then we'll choose a color for your layer. In this example, I picked magenta. Then we'll use the M line command. We'll set the style to be five inches X wall. Remember to copy this style name so you can use it in the step number two. Finally, I'll click OK. Now, select your lazy wall command and pick any icon from the icons available. Now click apply and finally let's click the lazy wall command and drag it to the quick access panel. This is the fastest way to have any of our new commands available anytime. I'll click apply and ok. The second step is to create a multi-line style. So go ahead and type MLS style and press enter. Here click new to create a brand new multi-line style. Remember to name it the same way that we name it in the macro code. Here select the first offset and Type in 2.5. Remember that this is going to be a 5 inch wall. Then click the star line and so your wall can come automatically closed. Finally click OK. The step number 3 is just copy and save your new multi line to your block library. If you don't have one, please go ahead and create one because this is a must have if you want to save time in AutoCAD. Once you have your AutoCAD library, use the lazy library command that we learned last week to import your multi lines in any drawing. So click your lazy library command and now you can test your new lazy wall command. So let's click on it. Awesome. So now that you have your lazy wall command working, let me share some speed up drafting techniques so you can work faster with your AutoCAD walls. The first one is don't worry about wall thickness. Simply choose the most used wall thickness and then change the other sizes or thickness in the end using the quick property or property palette. 
you can easily change it here. Also, remember to regenerate your drawing by typing RE and enter if you don't see your architectural walls. The other technique I want to share is never intersect your 2D walls. Instead, always use the T technique to use your smart walls. I'll explain you why in the next technique. Don't worry about having the correct dimensions for your rooms at the beginning. You can easily fix your room dimensions by using the scale command. I'll show you how. S, enter to stretch this wall from this point, click, press shift, click from, pick from this point and type in my distance. So let's do it one more time. S, enter to stretch this wall from this point, click, press shift, click from, pick from this point and type in my distance. I'll select this image and turn off the frame to show you my last technique. This is about trimming walls. To achieve this, simply double click on any smart wall and you'll have the following options. But you don't need to worry about any of these options. The only option that you need to click is Open T because you follow the previous techniques about the T shape drawing walls. So I always zoom extend to easily trim my smart walls without zooming in and out but for this example I'll get closer to I'll get closer so you can see better so simply use the T technique selecting first this and this other wall this and this other one and so on just apply the T technique. Remember to explode your smart walls once you're done. This is to avoid future problems. So what do you think about this Top 3 AutoCAD macros. By the way, you can copy the macro codes from the pin comment on this video.